It is the final push to the polls, and voters have been showing up early in Cook County in record numbers. CBS 2's Mike Piccinelli joins us now live from Wells Park in the 47th Ward, where more people have voted in that site than any other. Mike, good morning. How's it looking out there right now? Well, so far so good, and that's because more than 6,800 people have already voted at this particular site alone. Through Sunday in all of Cook County, 433,000 people have already early voted, and there's still one day left. That compares to just over a quarter million votes in the entire early voting period four years ago. The reason for the incredible interest? Donald Trump. Unlike presidents in the past, he's made this midterm a referendum on himself, and that has people on both sides fired up. And that's one reason why the Democrats have called on their biggest star to try and counter the bully pulpit of the president. Barack Obama was stumping on the campus of the University of Illinois Chicago yesterday for J.B. Pritzker, congressional candidates and other statewide office candidates. Interest is extremely high already. Registrations for this midterm are higher than they've been in 36 years. And by the end of today, more than 200,000 people will have early voted in Chicago alone. That's why both sides are doing everything in their power to get out the vote. While the eight years of President Obama's leadership vaulted us forward, the last two years of Donald Trump's has taken us backward. When you participate in the political process, you can be a check on bad behavior. When you vote, Illinois, you can choose hope over fear. Incumbent Governor Bruce Rauner has been barnstorming the state on a bus for the past week. Yesterday, he was trying to bolster his support in the collar counties of Chicago. He made stops in Morris, St. Charles, and Orland Park. His closing argument is that Tuesday's election is the biggest of our lifetimes and that a vote for him is a vote against a corrupt political machine. Now, early voting continues today from 9 to 5 at 51 different sites around the city. It will remain open until 7 o'clock in the evening at this site here in Wells Park and at five other sites just like it. Now, if you haven't registered, not to worry. You can register and vote on the same day. Reporting live in Wells Park, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Marissa? Good information, Mike. Thank you.